All right, moving on. Color me royally impressed by this latest archaeological discovery. Researchers from the Israel Antiquities Authority unveiling three textile scraps imbued with the regal and rare argamon purple dye dating back to over 3,000 years ago. Welcome to Slaves Hill in the Timna Valley, a gorgeous desert region just north of the southernmost Israeli city of Eilat and home to the ancient copper mining district from over 3,000 years ago or the time of the biblical King Solomon. Copper isn't the color of the latest discovery from Timna that's exciting researchers, however. Rather, it's these scraps of fabric dating to 1000 BCE or the Iron Age era of King David. Because unlike other textiles from antiquity, these scraps are the oldest known examples found in the entire Levantine region, dyed in the biblically described Argamon Royal Purple. Also known as Tyrian or True Purple, the dye is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible or Torah dozens of times. And due to its rarity and quality, it was the most highly valued color at the time, costing more even than gold, and being primarily associated with nobility, priests, royalty, and for use in the Jewish tabernacle and temple. As for why it was so rare, the dye is produced by the glands of three different species of live murex sea snails, found only in the Mediterranean Sea over 300 kilometers away from Timna. And as you can see, the color can last for millennia. Until now, though, researchers had only discovered mollusk shell waste and potsherds with small patches of dye, providing only indirect evidence of the purple industry in the ancient Iron Age. And here to talk more about this incredible new discovery from the Timna Valley is head of the Timna Expedition and professor at the Department of Archaeology and Ancient Near Eastern Cultures at Tel Aviv University, Erez Ben Yosef. Professor, thanks so much for being with us. What was it like when these fibers were found? Uh, it was quite amazing, but we didn't know what we are looking at at the beginning. Uh, the real excitement was after the results came from the lab, after Dr. Namas Tukenik uh, analyzed these pieces uh, in Barilan, and we found out that we have 3,000 years old fragments of true purple. This color is, is really the most expensive dye in antiquity. It was made out of sea snails, uh, Mediterranean sea snails, and it was found, it's the, the, the first evidence we have of this royal uh, purple from the time of Kings David and Solomon. Now, uh, you're talking about the tests. Well, you're talking about these tests coming back and how amazing that moment was. How did you go about and, and test this? How, you know, how did you find out that that's exactly what it is? So it's a chemical test that uh, check for the molecules themselves. It's uh, based on uh, making uh, these molecules, uh, it's vaporizing them and then checking the, the weight. And uh, you know, it's oh, wow. like we compare the results to, to a known database, which ba is based on a modern dyeing experiment, as we can see here with Professor Zohar And then we can uh, check if we do have the molecules according to the signature of this, uh, this exam. And this is uh, Dr. Nama Sukenik. When she told me we have it, I, I, we couldn't believe. So I told her we have to run it again and to <laughs> verify that this is, this is indeed what we see. And uh, it, is, it is the true purple uh, from a time that is very controversial. People think that uh, people question the historicity of David and Solomon and uh, many of the descriptions there. And uh, we do hear about the use of this purple color for the high priest in the temple in Jerusalem. Maybe Solomon himself wore this uh, a garment of purple as we read in the Bible about the kings of Midian and other kings in this, in this period. So now we have physical evidence that these garments were indeed in use. And uh, what we uh, excavate is actually part of the land of Edom near Elat, near the city of Elat today. This was part of the kingdom of Edom that David conquered and subjugated to Jerusalem. Uh, and, wow. and here are our excavations. And we can see um, remains of their activities, mostly because they were uh, doing, uh, uh, they were engaged in copper <laughs> production. This is the site, slaves here, uh, which was a major smelting camp, copper smelting camp. And what we excavate is uh, industrial waste. And that's where we find these amazing fabrics. And because it's so dry, uh, you can see in the images that Timna is very dry. It's deep in the desert. We are very lucky. So we have all of these organic materials that usually do not preserve uh, in the more humid climate. 
and we can study the life of these people in high wow. resolution. Wow. All right. Professor, I'm blown away. This is really cool. I, I hope everybody watching this goes onto the IAA and, uh, and checks out more information about this. Professor, thank you again sure. for being with us. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.